All right, well, we're back for the spoiler discussion of The Green Inferno, and man, this... I, I was hoping that it was going to be a thing where they shot around a bunch of disturbing stuff and got an R rating, and that I was going to be excited for the uncut version. Uh -huh. I was going to like see this, like, okay, this is what they can put in the theaters, but let's see what the real, yeah. you know, the real right, crazy appetite. version is. Exactly. And instead, it's like... I almost don't the care what's in the extras. The first half hour, 40 minutes is like they're going against this rainforest thing. And There's a little bit of a thing and commentary on modern day activism where you're so remotely disconnected from it. And, and, and this, there is a whole thing, especially on like Facebook and whatnot of, you know, raising awareness and awareness for this and awareness yeah. for that without really knowing the on the ground details or anything. People instantly jump on a bandwagon cause and raise awareness. Uh, so it does kind of comment on that, but it doesn't say anything useful about it. Right. And it also sets Except up... Except a little bit cynical. It kinda. also sets up the idea of female genital mutilation. Yeah. Which they then use as, like... It's like a scare that never really yeah. comes into... Which, cavity. I'll be honest, I'm glad it didn't, because I... Like I, I thought like you know, to the to the women that are in there like like you know they're gonna be raped or the genital mutilation thing or whatever. I'm actually glad that didn't happen because I don't know it's just just unnecessarily gross. But yeah, I'm glad that didn't happen to her. Well, and <laughs> I mean the tribe honestly seemed, if not equal, it was almost more of a matriarchy than yeah. Like, I didn't see... If you take out the, the cannibalism part, they're very harmonious, and they've got a nice little community going, and well, I mean, <laughs> friendly like, kids, and... The, whatever you, that woman is, the, like, priestess or whatever, the one with the was dead eye. Was that a woman or a guy? Because at times it, it looked woman. like a guy. It was for sure. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. They make... It, that's actually a little bit more obvious in the trailer, too. Like, the when they show her, because they show... I don't know, more of, like, her features and the... Mm -hmm. But... Yeah, so, like, everybody's red except for her and the guy that's, like, black. Right, yeah. Who's... Seems to be, like, the general I guess or he's, like, yeah, the warlord or the mm -hmm. chieftain or whatever. Uh -huh. But there's not, like, a... I don't know, they don't strike me as, like, warlike particularly. It's more mm -hmm. like... And at least the cannibalism side of it, like... It is, like, more traditional, like, it's preparing food. It's, mm -hmm. like, what the women in the tribe would do yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. They're not hunting. They're like preparing. They're and, getting it right. Getting yeah. The meal ready. All of that stuff. So. Yeah. And there is a scene towards the end where they're getting mowed down with guns and stuff, which you're supposed to think, oh, you know, who's the real bad guy kind of thing. They're not evil. That's right. just their, that's their thing. That's their, that's their culture kind well, of thing. Well, it's also supposed to be ironic that yeah. the group went to try and save this tribe yeah. And then they ended up being captured by the tribe and yeah. eaten and tortured. And hoping that the bulldozers, the ones they went there to stop, would arrive would and come get, and, and get But rid then of she them. turns it around and lies at the end and and set and goes she tries to save the village again. To save the village perhaps again. Perhaps redeemed because of the boy that saved her. I don't know. The motivation's not really clear on that. Why would she just suddenly lie about all that horror that she experienced? Yeah, I think I mean I think that too was like a maybe it was seeing them all gunned down and I no, I think that was that was all about like like she really did want to like s protect the tribe not because they were good to her or anything not the like details, that but, but because the big picture in the big picture yeah, she like saw the, she got screwed over she was in that situation yeah. because of Alejandro that and Carlos and bag, yeah. all that stuff and then he survives Almost as a villain, like the, there's a sequel bait thing at the well, end where, but it's he, like, what? he totally changes attitude. Yeah, he's like, well, we find out he was actually working for another company, but in his mind, he had uh, justified it. In his mind, he was thinking big picture too. Which was that her becoming like him towards the end? No, yeah. because he, like, he just became a complete idiot. Yeah. Like, they get into the hut, and he makes that reveal, and then he's just like, you know, fuck all of you. I'm going to make sure I'm the last one alive. Yeah. And he's, you know, doing things to get the other ones captured. Like, he gets that red-haired guy mm -hmm. killed. Yeah. Like. Which was terrible. Like, yeah, I did. 
So, it, which that was actually more like the way that guy died was more the way I expected like a lot of the alive. movie to go, like where he was eaten alive. Yeah, but most of it was the and honestly, that's the stuff that I think more more audiences get disturbed by is when they're like watching people prepare what is said that was human there was one part i thought that was disturbing it wasn't anything it wasn't gory it was when they thought they were eating pig like leftovers or something like that and then she's looking at them playing with the skin from the guy and then she realizes probably bits of their their friend well she sees and then she splits herself like the horror of that was like the, the bottom of her bowl had the blood had, and it, no it had skin and there was a tattoo on it Oh, I didn't. I, I thought that bowl, was an etching on the plate itself, but the that was whole bottom of her bowl was a tattoo. Oh, okay, that's yeah, and that's that's what they were going for. And, and I, she was a vegan, and this was her first meat in a long time, and that, that was bad. Yeah, <laughs> that was. I mean, I see that to me that that was more truly horror. I it was like tell. A, the realization in her mind what was going on. That was really horrible. Yeah, more than any. And I couldn't tell whether thing. the guys were telling her. That it was pigs leftovers just to comfort to her. pacify her, yeah. or if they thought that, that actually one. thought that that's what it was yeah. because, like, they hadn't slaughtered any pigs. Like, yeah, why would they be like, feeding where did that pigs? come from? Yeah, um, and, mm. like they were feeding the pigs like brains and stuff. Yeah, earlier in the movie, but it's it's. It turns out to just be like another one of these disappointing exploitation. Yeah, films. it's not. It's not shock. I mean, I don't think so. It's not shocking in any way. And the, the whole clever social commentary thing is just like, eh, whatever. It, it, you know, it's nothing you wouldn't find on any Facebook meme going around. <laughs> you know, it's yeah. not. There's nothing. It doesn't really say anything that you haven't kind of heard before. Or, I mean, if she ended up being like their leader at the end, or right, like, I almost thought it would might have went that, that direction. Been interesting. Yeah. Like I thought for a while, like when the first they were first painting her up, and they, um, they did that like test. Mm -hmm. It was like they decided that she was a virgin, and they were going to like I couldn't decide if they were going to sacrifice her mm. or if they were going to like promote her. To be her. like a goddess or a princess to them yeah, or something exactly. like that. And I thought something like, you know how when like, but it was obviously later it became obvious that what they were doing was they were paying off on that exposition about female genital mutilation yeah. which is they would cut her up and then they would like sew everything shut uh -huh. so that she would either heal or die yeah and then but what would be the point of that if they were going to eat her i guess no then i think like, she, she would actually be one? like she would be like part of the yeah. tribe at that point or she would be yeah huh like and allowed there is that moment where you get the mercenaries uh, shooting the, the tribe people and whatnot, and she's, you know, painted like a, a tribe person, and uh, she, she's kind of in the middle of them, kind of like this intermediary kind of thing, but that didn't really go anywhere. I thought they might, I, you know what I mean? I thought it was going in that direction, yeah. but... Well, I mean, they, they didn't shoot her because she was white and she was holding her hands up, like, not With a phone. Caucasian, but like painted white, mm -hmm. and she had the phone and she was saying camera and internet and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, which th there were some like questionable like, do these Peruvian militia guys understand English? Uh -huh. Like, do they understand the words that she's saying? And yeah, is it really believable that like this iPhone is actually broadcasting something <laughs> right. way out here? Um, yeah, you'd think they'd be a little bit more savvy, but and the threat like sequel baiting aside. Mm -hmm. The threat of a Alejandro like coming for her, yeah, or b like his sister knowing that she left him there to die, and yeah. Like, so, like right. compared to the what she went through, it's like Dude. she should have just been like, you know, I've been through worse. Like, come at me, bro. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> And so th there's one part where maybe I didn't, I missed it, I blinked and I missed it, but there's an escape scene where uh, one of the people runs out and, and makes it and, and runs to a canoe and hides in the canoe. We, we don't know what happened. The film ends and we still don't know what happened. Well, there. it cuts to black and they talk about how there was like a plan for her to do something and send... Mm -hmm help back or do something like that. It's never that. touched on again, though. I think or I think I the it? plan was to send her back to... 
I may be wrong about this, but I think she was supposed to try and find that GPS transmitter that was the, back at the, the crash site. Yeah. Um, oh, was she, she might, I might have missed it, but she might have been one of the ones hanging out. I think up. that's what. Uh, that would have answered that if that was the case. On. Yeah. Which, that was a stupid scene. Like, here's fire burning. Obviously, they're around somewhere. Yeah. There's people hanging, and they're, like, just talking casually, like, and then they get, like, shot with darts. It's like, duh. Well, and the girl that had the phone and fell on them, mm -hmm. she was the girlfriend that got, like, yeah. shot in the neck and then shot in the head. Yeah. Those wounds were missing. Oh, really? I didn't notice that. When they showed her again, those wounds were missing. Was, well, maybe they patched them up with magic paint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what, like, one of the only... Uh, scenes that I thought was was well done that was like interesting and ironic was um, the first time those like t-shirts that were like save the Amazon came out mm -hmm. was when they got to the camp and they were like being stripped of everything yeah. before they were thrown into the pen yeah so it was like that was an interesting ironic yeah sort of twist with like you know the villagers are like raping them or like ripping the clothes off and can't read what they're saying but yeah it's like save the amazons and it's like oh isn't there a south park episode like this probably Where, not carmen but it's like one of them goes to save the rainforest thing and then they get kidnapped by a tribe of rainforest i'll have to check that out i'm pretty sure this is I'm sure of a south park episode <laughs> i'm i'm sure that plot's been used uh, in other places and they can hardly wait to find the, the tree cutters and stuff yeah uh but yeah, I was just, uh, and like when they first meet the tribe and they're like, they're all like screaming and crying and the tribe are all just sort of like rubbing on them and yeah, like all that. It's all shot like really close up on yeah, the Yeah, and the, the stuttery frame rate and stuff. It's like and you that. wonder like, if you backed up and just did a wide shot, uh -huh. this would look really stupid. <laughs> yeah. This would look like a bunch of people overreacting to yeah. just like, eh, eh. <laughs> It would look as silly as the shot of when they were going out onto the boats and there's people carrying wood and stuff. If you pulled back on that, it's like, why are you bumping into each other? It's an empty beach. <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Any other thoughts? Okay, I fired three shots into a tarantula. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's another part of that scene I don't want to remember, but yeah. 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 The Green Inferno. <sighs> okay. If you like the way we do these, like the video, subscribe. Check out all the written and video reviews at dalemaxfield.com. And as always, thanks for watching.